This is my review of Amazon's UZ Tactile Security Self-Defense Umbrella. Okay, so we have two umbrellas here I'm going to show you. <clears throat> the two umbrellas. This one is the one I use every day when walking my dog. And this is the UZ Security Tactile Umbrella. So as you can see, not much of a difference. Actually, only about an inch in length difference, which is pretty cool. This one's exactly one pound. This one's exactly two pounds, which is pretty heavy and weighty compared to this. Let's see, it balances better. And so we'll put that down. Oh, and according to the article, the ad, the Amazon ad for this UZ security tactile umbrella, it is pretty durable. It can withstand up to 220 pounds. So it definitely has some pretty good weight to it. Okay, now as far as the security features go, it would be pretty difficult to get this rubber tip off, the carbide tip, but I would recommend leaving it on loosely. So here's your very strong, sturdy, sharp carbide tip. So I would recommend keeping this on while you're carrying it because that could be dangerous. You don't want it accidentally poking somebody. That would hurt. So this is your glass breaker. And, you know, if you had to use it in self-defense, of course, I wouldn't be using it straight on. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to self-defense use this in self-defense. So I would suggest learning how to use this before you actually use it because they show it using it at this end, too. This is a very heavy-duty, the ergonom ergonomic. See how heavy that is? I dropped it. Ergonomic handle. Very nicely made. It's like a real soft but sturdy, nice, like it's a good grip rubber. So let's open her up. It's got a nice little clip on there. Secure clip, like most umbrellas do. It takes a little bit <clears throat> to get it off. Unravel it. You do have to find the circle, so it's going to take you a second to find the circle to press the button. So that is a little bit of a deterrent. It spends a little bit more, it adds a little couple extra seconds to be able to find that in case of a situation where you need it to open her up. She does automatically open up, as you can see. And doesn't everybody want to do that? That's the fun part, that's real fun. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, you can see the good quality of it. Excellent, excellent quality, especially for the price. Originally, I was thinking I paid $60 for it, but I didn't. Apparently, I only paid $37 for it. It's currently on Amazon for $41, so apparently I saved a few bucks uh, about three weeks ago, a uh, month ago, when I bought it. Uh, you can even see the tips, how nicely made the tips are. Very good quality. And you can see how durable that is and it does close up nicely it's a little tough to do but it closes up and it clicks the only thing I don't like about this is and the reason why I bought this was a very specific purpose I didn't just buy it for an umbrella anybody could have an umbrella ah uh, I'm a little afraid to tell you why I bought it but I needed see I need a protection while I'm walking my dog. Uh, causes me a little bit of trouble talking about it, but I'll say it for the sake of the video. My dog and I, my dog was attacked while I was in the park about six months ago. So that's why I bought this. I bought it to ward off another dog, to have space in between me and another dog and my dog and another dog. So you can see this is pretty wide enough cause some space between myself and another dog it is has, does have a very wide threshold of exactly 44 inches which is actually only four inches more than this one opens up to this one opens up to 40 inches and it's only a pound and it's real lightweight and I could carry it on me almost like I could barely feel it I do feel it uh, it does cause some extra weight on me while I'm walking my dog 
at one pound and I'll show you how I do that which is why I'm wearing this belt around my waist because this is my dog walking belt waist and I'll show you how I attach this because the carrying handle for this or any umbrella doesn't really do me any good so my only concern again if this shield is open and I'm trying to make a barrier between me and another dog or my dog and another dog one it's very heavy so I have to I have to hold it in place while I'm holding my dog and aim it and, and keep it balanced between me and another dog. And the other thing is, because this does not click in place, it's just free floating there. You know, most um umbrellas click in place like this. This does not click. Which if you're using for an umbrella, great. It's nice. Um, I guess that helps with wind. You know, the, this is supposed to withstand like really high winds, which you would need it to flex to do that. But as far as my purpose goes, um, needing to defend myself from another dog, if another dog's coming from the other side, you know, what they're gonna be pushing this in. So it's a little bit of a concern. Um, the only other thing that I really like about it is that this carbide tip is really strong, really. I mean, you could hurt somebody with that carbide tape tip. You absolutely could. That is, look at how sharp that is and pointy that is. And it is, ow, see that actually hurts. That's why you absolutely need to keep this rubber tip on. But unfortunately, it does take quite a bit of strength to get it off. And I'll show you that when I put the shield on. Um, but it is important to keep that on. So I'll show you how I use it. I do, again, I carry around, excuse me for a minute, I carry around on my waist, this is my dog carrying pouch, so I have everything I need. My poop bags, my glasses, gospel tracks, <laughs> and, uh, you know, tissues, whatever. Um, probably some other self-defense weapon. Oh yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. This is a self-defense weapon I've been carrying on me since that attack. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. If I was going to carry this umbrella, I'll show you how I wear it. Normally, I wear, this is the umbrella I carry with me for self-defense and for that barrier shield between me, my dog, and another dog. And this is how I would put it on. Uh, I slip it right in here and I just, and I walk with it. Just like this. It just hangs, I walk with it. So it's pretty much weight free, it's hands free, I don't have to worry about it. Um, as far as this one goes, it's two pounds, so it's exactly a pound heavier. And uh, it's a little harder to get in there just because it's an extra inch. It's definitely heavier, so I'm gonna feel the weight of it. Um, I guess I would have to adjust that a little bit. Um, I guess it works kind of the same, but I do feel the weight of it. All right, so the only other option would be, and I don't like this option, but it's nothing personal against this umbrella because every umbrella has this problem with the shield, at least as far as I know. So if you use the shield, the cover, I should say, with the strap, because it comes with the strap, I mean, the strap is just sort of kind of cheap. I could see that maybe giving way one day. There is what appears to be an adjustment, but there is no adjust. It literally does not adjust. There's no adjustment on this. I don't know why it's even here. The only way you could adjust this is if it was off the umbrella to make it longer to go over your chest. But if the umbrella is in here, you can't fit it over your chest. See, watch. There's no, <laughs> you're not going to wear it around your neck. So this does not work <laughs> and you can't adjust it at all. So the only way to truly wear this is over your shoulder, like that, which looks comfortable, seems like it makes sense, but really, it's just sort of flapping around, and plus, if you could see, if you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, it's just going to be flopping around, your hand's going to be hitting it, your things are going to be jingling, so for that reason, I don't like it. Um, the only other reason why I don't like this cover shield to use in self-defense situation or while walking my dog is because one first of all you have to take off the rubber tip 
which if it was on all the way, you don't want it on all the way because you're going to screw yourself. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is very difficult to get, to get off. So my suggestion is put it on maybe halfway, good enough so it won't fall off, but also good enough so it's not going to hurt somebody while you're swinging it, walking around with it. And let's try it again. And here comes my dog. All right, that's still difficult. Ugh, that's difficult. Anyways, that's that's the downfall with this. It's it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing. 50-50 on that. Okay, so now that you've gotten the tip off and you something's attacking you, it took you that long to get the tip off. <laughs> okay, now you got to take the sleeve off. Okay, the sleeve's off now. Well, if this was clipped, then you would have to take the time to unclip it, but of course I had it unclipped. So now you would have to unclip it. First the rubber tip, then the shield, then I'm unclipping it. Now, now you have to find, I say I just turned it all the way around to find this button. You have to find the button. It blends in. It's not just anywhere. You cannot open it. And you cannot open this without that button. So you have to find the button. Now that I found the button, now it's open and now I can defend myself. <laughs> so that took how long? I don't know, but for me, that takes way too long, especially if you're having an anxiety attack. But good quality materials to use as an umbrella. Fantastic, excellent umbrella. Um, hefty, heavy duty. Nicely wind resistant, but for my purpose, there's just no way um, I could use it as a self-defense weapon to get it out quickly enough to use it. And on top of it, how many other glass cutters, multi-use devices do I need? <laughs> I have a flashlight glass cutter, I have a pen, tactical pen, glass cutter, rope cutter, this has a rope cutter, whatever. How many glass cutters do I need? Um, and these are also self-defense weapons. You could use this like a hammer. That would be nasty. That would be really nasty. I probably wouldn't even want to use it. It would scare me. This, you'd have to be pretty close to somebody. But you know what? If you really needed to, you know, I wouldn't want to use it on a dog. I wouldn't want to be that close to a dog. And I've had my situations with dogs before with pit bulls attacking. And let me tell you something, this does not work. Nothing against pit bulls. I had five pit bulls. I had one lovely pit bull. I can't talk about the rest. Um, just a note, pit bulls don't belong in packs. I'm just telling you. Moving on. This is my review of Amazon's UZ 45, 44 inch wide. 36 inch long carbide tip self-defense weapon security with ergonomic handle a very nice high quality product no doubt about it too heavy for me at a whopping two pounds i can't open it fast enough to use it in self-defense especially if a dog's running at you um anything would work Gotta supply, you do you, I gotta do me. Uh, a guy could probably use this a little bit more easily than a woman, but again, you have to find this button. You have to find the button or you can't open it. And that is a problem for me. Now with my umbrella, you unsnap it and you literally press the, you know where the button is because it just sticks out. That button just sticks out. It's obvious, no matter which side you're on, you know where that button is and it closes really nicely. See when it's closed? No matter where you are, you know where that button is, it's obvious. So, no offense, you tis, but I think you need to make the button obvious, have it uh, color coded, more accessible, but it needs to open quicker. Nice quality product, 37 bucks, now currently $41 on Amazon. No, this is, I'm not getting paid for this. This is just for my personal use, for my defense of my dog, defending my dog against another dog. Um, because I was hoping to go back out and walk my dog again. I have not walked my dog in six months. 
this is just too heavy for me. I don't really feel the security in it. It takes too long. This is what I carry. This is what I carry every day. Well, every day when I did walk my dog. This is my handmade self-defense weapon. I call it my face masher 101. It's literally, uh, I bought it in the dollar store for like a dollar before they went up to a dollar 25. Uh, what are they calling this? This is, this is a grill cleaner. This is my face, ma face masher 101. Now think about it. The dog's coming at you. Ah, you put this in the dog's mouth. They're going to stop. How could you not stop a dog with this? Or if a person's coming at you, you, you want that in your face? Could you imagine the damage that would do to somebody's face? Ow. So for a buck, I don't know. I feel more secure with this. I like carrying my lightweight umbrella. Just think, I'd rather not do it at all. I can't take the stress of walking my dog anymore. So I'm just going to buy a farm. <laughs> Have it fenced in and let them walk around and enjoy my land. Thanks for walk watching my review of Amazon's UC UZ's UZI 44 inch wide security security shield self defense umbrella automatically opens that's part of the ad with the ergonomic handle tactile umbrella thanks so much I wanted to save you time to actually get an honest review thanks for watching